Others have been selling like hotcakes, and there's three that aren't going to be sold anymore whatsoever, and they're going to have a limited run from the official first wave. And that's the Villager, the Wii Fit Trainer, and Marth from Fire Emblem. And to be honest, I'm not all that surprised. There's people who are fucking livid over an idea like this, but to be fair, they weren't going to be selling them forever because, I mean, they're just little collectible figures. The downside to it, though, is if they planned on utilizing something like this in a future, like, you know, with a, another Animal Crossing game, or if they had some kind of console version of a Fire Emblem game coming out, or, you know, anything having to do with Wii Fit, it seems kind of redundant for them to go and take these off shelves. But I kind of look at it from the business savvy point of view where them having limited supply on something increases the demand. And if the demand is constantly there, then that means that your product is always going to end up being in some kind of limelight where people are just always interested in trying to go and pursue picking some of them up from whatever store, you know, online or actual like brick and mortar store that they can go to to get them. But is it exactly like the smartest move to do? Because there's a, there's an equal amount of people that end up feeling like kind of jaded and, you know, pissed on for not being able to get something like this because they didn't go out or they couldn't find them. So now they'll never be able to get them. And you figure not only is there a lot of collectors out there that want to get a hold of stuff like this, but there's just casual fans of things like this. They're like, well, I just want to get it to put on my shelf or I just want to get it because I thought it'd be cool to have with the rest of my games or... Yeah, I want to get it because, well, I want to actually use it the way that it was meant to. And this ends up taking away from that. But it does make me wonder, is Nintendo actually going to end up doing another wave of this down the road at some point? Considering that yeah, Amiibo figures are still a relatively fresh concept from the Nintendo camp, I can imagine that they might. Whether even if you're into it or not, it's kind of hard to deny the fact that there's a lot of people scooping these up. And oddly enough, damn near all the people I know that are getting them are all adults. I never see any kids who are like, yeah, I got an amiibo. It's like all adults are like, I have amiibos. Get the fuck away. I'm break, break out a fucking chainsaw, put it on the hand, become like Ash. I'm just like, Ugh. not Ash Ketchum, though. The Ash Ketchum never did some Army of Darkness slash Evil Dead shit like that. So if he did, though, Pokemon would be a lot more interesting and Team Rocket would be like, don't want none of this. Mm -mm -mm. But... Do you think that those three figures will end up getting another run, or do you think that they'll re-release them but in different poses and stuff? So it'll be like a Wave 1 version of Martha Wee, Fit Trainer, and The Villager, and then like, you know, the Wave 4, they're re-released again, but they're doing all sorts of different shit and they look a little bit different, or they're just like killer different depending on how they looked in Super Smash Brothers or how they may look inside their own individual franchises and stuff, since obviously each one of those characters can look slightly different. Who the fuck knows? But it, you know what that also brings to mind? I, I'm glad that it's apparently been uh, showcased that they're also bringing out the GameCube adapter for Nintendo Wii U as well. Because a lot of people were worried about that as well, because I'm like, fuck, limited stock on this and on the Amiibos. Why? Nintendo, people just want to give you money. Like, just keep this shit in steady supply so people can keep scooping it up. But... I mean, something like this could just be one of those deals where they're just like, okay, we'll keep low inventory of stuff. People will go batshit crazy and want to go and pick them up. Then we'll go and restock down the road after they get kind of feverishly fucking hungry for it. And they're just like, oh man, <laughs> hey kid, you got any of those amiibos? No? <laughs> All right. So, you know, it, it could be a, a business practice that they're playing, or it's just something like, well, they weren't all that popular, so who the fuck cares? But whenever you see a big-time fan reaction like this, it's got to it's gotta go and send some kind of message to a Nintendo cam. So who the hell knows whether it's going to happen or not, but I know that you're going to end up seeing those fucking things resold all over the fucking place. And I know I've seen some people go and pick up, like, five and six of them and shit. So I guess it's kind of good in some regard, because then you can go and trade them. Gotta catch them all, amiibos. So, yeah. It, it actually, you know what? I, I kind of want them to bring back the Gotta Catch Them All jingle just for amiibos. Just put it in a commercial. It'd be kind of amusing. I just... Nintendo, you should do that. Seriously. It'd be kind of funny. Have, like, people... Like, put in scenes from Dawn of the Dead where they're, all the zombies are at the mall and shit. And there's, like, amiibos. Uh. I, I honestly would vote this idea in, in a heartbeat. This commercial would be fucking amazing. Now I kind of want to go and put that together, but I know that shit would be flagged in a heartbeat. They'd be like, BAM! Take that down! I'm like, oh. So, anyhow, Amiibos! Yay? Nay? Don't give a fuck, because you're just like, I don't even have a Wii U or a 3DS. So, 
Look at all that. <laughs> Either way, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. Gaming the fuck on will never be in short supply. So, yeah, there's always that. Hmm.